Rami, I want to talk to you about this use of walks as a diagnostic. Because clearly if it's in a lot of cancers and you can detect it in advance, it's a huge possibility. Sure. Uh, so as I said, WOX, uh, we, we found that WOX is deleted or uh, reduced in uh, many types of cancer, including breast cancer. Uh, so when we did a lot of studies on, uh, on these cancer, we can see that in early stages, of cancer uh, uh, transformation, like what we call pre-neoplastic uh, stages of cancer, we can start seeing inactivation or loss of vox. Uh, although it is not cancer yet, but this might indicate that we can use vox as a diagnostic tool. Uh, so we can predict maybe if cancer is gonna happen or can continue to happen on these cells. And we can probably uh, predict that these patients, if they lose vox, totally lo lose vox, they would have shorter survival. So it's indeed possibility that we can use vox as a diagnostic factor in order to predict, for example, survival and uh, uh, cancer. But I noticed you said possibility. Does that mean there's a big gap still between the research and some pharmaceutical company coming Come work for me and I'll <laughs> make the stuff. And well, uh, we are very optimistic, but yeah. we still need to do on large cohorts of uh, patients. We need to do more, uh, uh, bigger studies at uh, larger scale in order to make this uh, assumption work and, and, and happen. So and there's, there's uh, still a lot of things to be done. Before you can get to that stage. How many, give, give me a sense of how much more time, never mind all the steps. Well, it all depends on resources and uh, interest and uh, collaboration, but uh, we are into it. We are very hard moving toward this aim. Uh, we are looking into breast cancer, lung cancer, uh, osteosarcoma. Uh, these three cancer actually are the types of tumor that we saw uh, when we knocked out the gene in the mouse. So it resembles for us something real that is happening uh, when we target delete the Wax gene in the mouse and we get these tumors. Uh, but Wax is also um, inactivated in other types of cancer, as I said, including leukemias and uh, uh, other solid cancer. Okay, let's do a little bit of science, see if we can do it. How does actually Wax function to suppress cell growth? Uh, I gather it's normal to suppress, all cells have to be controlled, right? You need right. a repression is part of the institutional system of the body. Right. So it suppresses cells. Now sometimes uh, it doesn't work. If, even if you have walks, sometimes it doesn't work? Uh, or does it always work as long as you have it? So what we know uh, in cancer, in order for cancer to occur, we need what we call some hallmarks of cancer to happen, to come through. These including more proliferation of the cells cells that cannot die, cannot apoptose, what we call to refer to apoptosis. Apoptosis cells, is the normal dying of a cell? It is the normal programmed cell death, okay. exactly. So, so we're uh, all programmed to die. Right, so our cells have a certain amount of time to live and I, they I, should I, die by, uh, by natural. the, uh, naturally. Well, but let, let me ask you a question about it because I'm very curious about this. I, when I was reading your papers, I said, wow, the removal of, of, uh, uh, of this wax kind of thing means you get an immortality if you're a cell, not as a human being. Right. <laughs> so cancer can be called seeking immortality. Right, well, immortalization yeah. is the very first step in the cancer process. So uh, this I is see. what I said before. So uh, the cancer is a multi-step process. When you, the, the first very early step is that the cells, they do not die but then they can stay there without dying, but they're still not cancer. They're not I cancers. See. But they need another hit, another inactivation of a tumor suppressor or an activation of an oncogen in order for them to, die, for them to become cancer and to uh, invade and to metastasize. So uh, what we saw that in these cells that they are lacking Wax expression. If we reintroduce Wax, if we uh, transfect, if we use them, the scientific means, transfect Wax or deliver Wax into these cells, we will sensitize them to die. They will apoptose more efficiently when we put Wax 
inside the cell again. Have you tried that? Yes, we have tried this in works? many cells, including our lab and many other labs in the world, and it is very successful. You can kill the cells that lacks wax when you reintroduce wax. Inside. So, so one would think, you know, as a, if you're a layman, to say, "Wow, there's a that does it. Let's pour lots of money in." and get walks and we'll inject all these people. Is it hard to get walks into the cells, by the way? Well, there are certain means of delivery, but there is big dilemma of how to deliver genes into the cells. Yeah. Yeah. So what um, I want to emphasize here that we cannot cure cancer probably by one gene, by delivering of one gene, because cancer, again, is a multi-step process. And there are so many things that goes bad. If you look at the chromosomes of cancer cells, they are so ruined, they are so abnormal. So it's not only works for sure, but there is actually a, a, a selection against particular genes that they are important for the growth of the cells and for the apoptosis of the cell. So by knowing uh, these genes, it's very important. Then there is another point that I wanna emphasize here is that gene, uh, a gene by itself doesn't work by itself actually. So WOX does not work by itself alone. It recruits a lot of other genes and a lot of other proteins and compromising, uh, or comprising pathways that affecting these pathway or in activating these pathway will lead to apoptosis. Okay, well, so let, if let, we have another let, hit let. In, the, in another gene in this pathway, we might not solve the problem. So even if you have enough WOX, it's right. not enough. So this what is where does the it actually do? It sends messages to other chemicals to make a protein that kills the cell? Is there, is there a, a hitman, if you want? Right, so what, what we find is that wax associate or interacts yeah. with other proteins yeah. that are either induces apoptosis or it suppresses actually oncogens from doing their function. So what wax does is a very smart thing it localizes or it is found in the cytoplasm of the cell and prevents the nuclear transfer of certain transcription factors or oncogens that activate the growth of the tumor cell or the oh. cancer cell. So by sequestering these factors in the cytoplasm, it contributes to the prevention of the continuous growth of, of the cell. Okay. So this is one, one way of what's doing its function we know that also it contributes to the integrity and uh, maintenance of the genome. So these are new data that are now developed in my lab. And what we notice is that uh, lack of wax would contribute, would contribute to more uh, genomic instability, chromosomal instability. So the chromosomes and the genome would look unstable when wax is not present, probably because it contributes to the integrity of the genome, to the repair mechanism of the uh, uh, faults and the uh, 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 problems happen in our uh, DNA. Well, what I thought of when you were telling me this, it's like going with your car and getting an oil change. If you don't have some element to get an oil change, your, your engine will break down. Right. Uh, I want to get on to talk a bit, and we're going to take another 10 minutes, because I'm very interested in this why I want to go on and talk how it plays a role in evolution. Because why would we have a body element that's built into the body, and this is more speculative than science for you, why we have a built-in mechanism that has to suppress cells? Why don't we have a system that they naturally die? Why do you have another guy that kills them off? So you have killers sent up to knock the genes off. It doesn't quite make sense. What role would that play in evolution? Is it allow more mutation, more, you know, because, you know, evolution works in a number of ways. It must play some function, and I want to know if you speculate on that. But I will take a break, because that's a hard question, and we'll take a break and come back to it, okay?